Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. I almost said Breath of the Wild again, for I am fool. But yes, last time, I do believe, we finished up recruiting everybody, got Orbosa and Daruk, and then got attacked by the Yiga clan at the Hyrule Outpost. Although I do like that originally it was just question mark, question mark, question mark because the name was a spoiler. And now after we did it, it has a full name, the Yiga clan attacks. I like that. Nice little details. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Hello. Hello, hello. And I did a little bit of grinding. It was mostly these two. Be or like I guess mostly this one because we needed a decent amount of the Lazolfo tales to get Painter's Pilgrimage. A painter is making a pilgrimage to the goddess statues all over Hyrule. He wants his art to express the goddess's love, supply him with materials to help him paint, you know, monster parts. <laughs> Lazolfo tails, fire keys, wings, electro chew jelly. All things that just scream the goddess Hylia. But with it, we get increased hearts for all characters. You did well. You got a painting from the artist after he finished his journey. He's brought the goddess's smile to life beautifully. Be sure to keep this masterpiece safe and sound. Really, I'm just kind of sad we don't actually get to see it. An invaluable item to an adventurer. This will increase each character's maximum hearts. Let's see, is there anything else that we can, like, activate? Doesn't look like it. It just seems to be four mini quests we've yet to do. The game is like, hey, weapons, weapons. And I wonder, yeah, probably him. Just wonder. Hmm. Probably should just sell since we're low on rupees and. Make sure, strong attack damage might want to keep. Special attack charge rate. Guess we could sell that. Soldier's broadsword would be good for. Like, uh, what is it? Which the wood, uh, just. Like a uh, fusion material. I don't want to get rid of you, and yeah, just get rid of a few. Doesn't get much rupees, but oh well. Let's see, anybody else? Let's get rid of that. Let's go over here. I don't really need to decide, like, what extra thing we want to give to him, which could be the damage per 100 KOs again. Just to boost up his damage, make him an absolute annihilator. From YouTube chat, yo, hello, hello. We're quickly inventory managing before heading off to some quests to do. Just a few to sell. I think I'll save these so that we can do, like, a decent amount of, like, fusioning for you. In fact, we could probably do some fusioning for you right now. I don't think we've done any fusioning for her, because I was trying to grab a decent amount of weapons to have a selection of, like, a good emblem to pass on. Which is like, well, no good emblems, at least for me. Because, like, out of all of these, a battle experience... Not really that useful because there's the thing I can cook to get 7% experience bonus, and that just takes up an emblem slot on a weapon, so we don't want that. Then damage from enemies, kind of the same thing. It's not really something I feel is worth on a weapon. Perfect t dodge timing could be useful, but I feel like there are other ones that are better. Again, experience, damage at full hearts, as if I'm ever going to stay at full hearts for long. Damage at 30% hearts or less is even worse because I'm close to death. I have to basically let myself get hit 
or like like basically that just feels to me either you intentionally get yourself hit so you're low and have bonus damage or you naturally get hit that much and you're in risk of dying so it's just like not good for me not good so yeah we just have to keep on waiting for a good emblem for her poor bosa <laughs> Because, like, for me, I feel like the good emblems will be, like, monster parts, gathering, battlefield components, or things that just increase your damage will be the good emblems to put on there. Either good for farming or good for damaging. But before we go on with the Korok Forest, let's do some... Drills. Ooh, Daily Drills Rito. I still wish that these... Oh, some of them do! Today's assignment is joint training exercise with Rito forces. Spar with the soldiers that are headed your way. But I'm not sure if all of them have that. Let's see. Oh, they actually do. I'm kind of disappointed they don't have it, like... I don't know, shift things up a bit so, like, the description is after the first clear reward. Maybe shrink the enemies and the first clear reward so they're on the same level so you can have the description there because I like these. It seems that monsters of icy dispositions are starting to gather. Take them out before things freeze over. I'm going to have to remember that because some of these, let's see, like Link Spears. Spears can be used to swiftly strike an enemy's weak spot from a distance. Knowing the value of this, Link challenges himself to improve. I definitely need to read more of these because I completely failed at that. Hmm. Well, but Daily Drills Rito. Which, of course, today's assignment is the joint training. Question is, who do I want to go in there and beat them up? Not Ravali. In fact, it looks like Ravali is specifically not allowed to do this one. Probably because he's going to appear in this. Could have Link, so it's like the canon episode run back. Urbosa for the funny aha, lightning against birds. That was a warm up. Let's do Link. <laughs> Who is just absolutely not kitted out for the weather of snow, but let's go. <laughs> let's see. Do I want to? Like, the only thing I could think of is, like, experience. So don't really fear needing to do more damage or take less damage. Let's -a go. Beat up the birds. And kick their asses. Also, one thing I rediscovered while doing some grinding. I can control the little boy on the loading screen. Also, I can press the Y or the X button and like if the like, up and down thing activates, but I'm not sure if that actually does anything aside from the animation. Oh, and we get the good music again! Love the Rito Village music. Ow. Very rude. Personally, I think it's the best music so far. Let's whirl up a fearsome gale. Well, you're not Rivali, so you can't do any gales, fool. Bah, ground batters are not our forte. Then why aren't all of you flying? Again, I know it'd probably be a pain for people to be like, oh, I want to actually fight him, but I would have liked if these guys were dive bombing me with arrow runs make them scary make me fear the skies oh, oh. oh neat the trees actually fall down and I can get wood from them they stay that's actually cool I can cut the trees down and then they stay on the ground unless I hit them again Of course you hit me with a bomb straight off. Ow. Not finished at all. 
I've been aching to settle the score with you. Prepare to witness the wonder of Ravali! Dang it! <laughs> I got a ploy rush. You try to kick me with your sexy legs? How dare you! Of course you gave your personal contingent of Rito bomb arrows. Only bomb arrows for Ravali's <laughs> crew. Prepare to get smacked. Get bombed. Counter bombs. Time for obliteration. Hmm. You're not to be overlooked, are you? Next time, things will go differently. I wonder what he says to, like, others. Like, the other champions, maybe. Because that one was specifically for Link, I presume. Then again, maybe he's hot-headed enough to be like, I have a score to settle for everyone. Why did we get a ladle? Why did we get a ladle? But it's possible that he has a score to settle with just everybody. Almost disappointed that I couldn't fight him myself. Or fight Rivali with Rivali. That would be amusing. He'd be freaked out and be like, What's going on? Since we just unlocked that, we'll save that for later, even though the game is like, hey, do it now! Which is cross the Hebra Mountains. Well, we'll do that another time, since we just unlocked it. Don't want to just continuously do an infinite loop of side quests and not do the main quest. Ah, oh, bonus combo for Mipha. I guess we got enough fish. Or maybe monsters. Bounding across the waves... Mipha's been added swimming to her daily re training regimen. You'd think that would just be a normal thing of uh, everyday life for Azora. Even for Azora, she is a first-rate swimmer. But she wishes to refine her technique even further by studying how fish traverse the currents. So we give her fish that are dead. Watching the fish dart nimbly through the water, Mipha had an epiphany about how to refine her own form. She will now be able to fight more effectively in water as well as on land. I don't even think it's possible to fight in water in this game. Next up, Impa's training. One of Impa's deepest desires is to help Princess Zelda however she can. Today, that means training and becoming stronger so she can protect the princess from whatever dangers await. As always, this looks quite what a bonus experience. I just, I don't know. For some reason, playing these games makes me really want to, like, dive in and play, like, Ocarina of Time. And play all, but basically all of the 3D Zeldas I've missed out on or haven't played in ages. Because I haven't played Ocarina of Time in forever since I was a kid and, like, beat it on the original N64. Then Majora's Mask, I don't think I ever beat. And then there's, like, uh... What else? Because, like, I did play Twilight Princess, but it's been forever. Never played Wind Waker. And never played Skyward Sword. So I definitely just... But now I do own all of them, I do believe. I have the Switch version of Skyward Sword. I have, uh... The Wii U version of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess that I need to do. Get obliterated, soldiers. My work is <laughs> Everyone, charge! 
Yes, bring your men to me so they can die even more. Steal yourself. Prepare to be blown up. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can follow up uh, being blown up. It's like, Jesus, there's a lot of just Hyrulean guard out here. Hylian? Hyrulean? Again, I keep forgetting if they've even ever used Hyrulean. Like, you feel like they, like, must have. Because Hyrule, Hyrulean. Oh! That's my special ability. I just... <laughs> send a wall of clones. 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 <laughs> Clones. Clones. Get obliterated, idiot. Give me your rune that I gave you. It is kind of amusing. I give him a rune, I beat him up, take the rune back, I get a clone. It's like I'm stealing their very soul. Your soul is mine. <laughs> clones. 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 Prepare to be obliterated. Shadow Clone Jutsu comes for you. If only, like, the Sheikah during Breath of the Wild could do this. Be obliterated. Obliteration for all of you. I have infinite clones. Come on, send out your captain. And then I obliterate you. I am ready. Goodbye. Maximum explosion. Be destroyed. In fact, I want to test something. You there. If I give you it, and then activate immediately, I can just send him up into the sky. Just bully this one man. Excuse me, I was just bullying one of your men, eternally. Be obliterated. With your silly little ponytail that's got short on your helmet. You don't even have the audacity to be afraid. You think that just because the training's over, you get to live? At least we got a lot of fireflies from the middle of the day. Now, if it was at night, that would at least make sense. Maybe they were sleeping fireflies. I mean, they have to go somewhere during the day. Then look over here. Zelda's training. Knowing she can't always rely on others to defend her, Zelda seeks sparring partners. Unfortunately, most people seem unwilling to take part. It falls to Impa to aid her princess and I guess throw bokoblins and moblins at her. I don't think that's healthy. Definitely not healthy for a princess. Seals. If you match the seals at the same type, the corresponding effect or weapon strength may be enhanced. Which is one thing I definitely should try and do. Like, maybe once I max out one of the weapons. See about, like, making... 
a super seal sword or something. Get bombed, idiot. Get back. Get back, she says, as she comes here to assault them. I mean, sure, they're evil monsters, but we are invading them. Well, no, this is kind of the kingdom's property area they're invading, but no other guards have ever come here to free this place from the Bacoblins. Like, that's obviously a house. People lived here. But I guess this is the royal guard. Because I ah, couldn't do a thing. I wish I could, like, constantly spam the heavy attack button. To just <laughs> waggle the box eternally. Obliterated, idiot. It's kind of funny that just having the Sheikah Slate and messing around with it, Zelda is like more powerful than base Link was at the beginning of Breath of the Wild. Just messing around with it. These like minor spurts of runes. I do wonder how that works, because there's still, like, the main, like, uh, cooldowns for, like, these ones. Don't worry, Moblin, I'm here to destroy you. I'll take your picture, even. Picture time! <laughs> Perfect picture! Get blasted. I see. The power of apps. The power of the smartphone. What Apple wants you to think their phones can do. More special attack damage. And diamond. I wonder how much I could sell the diamonds for. Obviously won't. They obviously have a purpose in this one if they're being dropped. Then again, that would be kind of hilarious. If it's like, this is the most rarest thing ever. And it has like no use except to sell and they don't tell you. Would be mildly funny. And the final side quest that we had yet to do. Soldiers have gotten lost while on the march. Rescue the missing units and reunite them with the main force. Ah, oh, we get a hat for Link. Uh, well, I guess less hat and more hair. Leave none behind. Question is, who should we use? Well, this is in the oh, desert. Let's what? send Urbosa. I guess like, hey, <laughs> Urbosa, a group of our guys got lost on your home you turf. Can you go get them for us? Bad. Scare them with lightning. May the lightning... <laughs> it's kind of like Yasuo from, like, uh, League of Legends, but instead of follow the wind, it's follow the terrifying lightning. From YouTube chat, hello! Hello, hello. We're just about done with the side quests we've yet to do, we had left over from last time. And then we get to go and do Korok Forest. And we'll be... If I do this quick enough, we'll be able to head into Korok Forest before even 30 minutes have gone by on this stream. We just gotta say 30 minutes for lots of reading, and then four side quest battle missions, not bad. <laughs> Search and rescue time! I'll be there soon. Try not to die in the meantime. Oh, well, that's just very rude. 
Well, I guess it makes sense that they would <laughs> take advantage of the situation. Very rude. <laughs> Definitely like this. Jerk. <laughs> and somehow that can also counts as rescuing them. How dare you kick me. Illegal five million times over. Now, Wizrobe, you wait your turn. I will kill you in a moment. I didn't even mean to activate it. It's weak point destruction. Uh, oh, I knocked him down. I was like, wait a minute, where did the whiz rope go? Did he fall into the dippity dee? No, he just was on the ground. Oh, Rito Captain. So I guess there's also going to be a Goron Captain in there as well. extra damage in. Obliteration for you! Extra pseudo-irony because Electric Moblin got obliterated by lightning. Knock out the last of Lizalfo so you don't just die. That'd be very unfortunate. Died of fodder. Make way, moblins. Well, not moblins, but goblins. Oh, it was a Gerudo captain. You'd think that you would know how to navigate this place. You're a Gerudo. This is your desert. Grand Festival is done, and it was fantastic. Also, here's the final results of Who's Team won. Like, I don't think I've heard Who's Team has won. I wonder what, like, who would have? Because... Because I can't really see, like, any one team being at least immediately off the top of my head the... V like, ultimate favorite, because I know some Splatoon Splatfests were kind of one-sided in the past. But I can only guess that it would be, like, somewhere between the future and the past. Or, I, then again, this is Splatoon 3, the last big ol' big ol'. So, they have, like, each of the idol groups from each of the games representing a option. So that could skew statistics. Team Past wins the Grand Festival. Team Present was second, and Team Future literally had zero points in the result board. That's weird. I can only assume that that was only due to, like, the idol group favoritism, but I figured, like, each one would have at least a decent amount of fans. That's really weird. I guess Team Future just didn't have good teams. And you'd think that future would have been it. Like, I don't know. Like, the future seems interesting. 
And it depends on, like, what past you're talking about, because the actual historical past, not, like, sure, interesting, but I don't think there's that many people that would be like, yeah, I want to go back to Oregon Trail. I want to go back to the French Revolution. I want to go back to the medieval times. But the fantastical past of like, I want to go back and become a wizard. Now that makes sense. To bring the village together. To take down the monsters skulking around their town, the villagers of Kakariko Village must be able to fight as one. Make preparations for a feast that will strengthen the villagers' bonds. Through the power of carrots? After a filling meal of carrots harvested from local farms, the villagers' bonds were much deeper. Impa joined them for an early morning training and was awed by their cooperation. Oh, and that, that area is huzzah. You got a token of gratitude from the people of Nekluda. A lot of silent mushrooms and Hylian rice. I don't think there's any others. We can quickly check the... Yeah. Like shops, if there's anything I'm really low on. And then. Korok Forest. Hi. Hi. I just love the music in this game. It's so good. I guess I'll always. should always get like the things to make, like, the experience food. <laughs> Definitely not you, because I do not need to buy sapphires or diamonds right now. <laughs> From you to chat, damn nostalgia hits really hard for the win. Well, that's Splatoon 1 veterans for you. I feel like Splatoon 1 would have, like, a decent amount of, uh, like bias towards it in a good way because that was that's the one that like a lot of people really really know because it definitely feels like the first one like everybody knows them I believe Kylie uh, I forget how it's that Ky Kylie and Marie Kaylee and Marie I forget know how to pronounce because the words bad in brain and then there's off the hook from the second game that a lot of people really like. Like, it definitely feels like there was no, like, dis favorites. Nobody disliked any of the, like, idol presenters from the various games, but people definitely, definitely had their favorite favorites. Of which I would think it to be the first game and second games. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Since we... I think we got a good emblem at last for Urbosa so we can upgrade her weapons, finally. Damage per 100 KOs, finally. Hmm? <laughs> Let's see. Then we can add on. Hmm. Uh, I'll just do that so that we're ready for the next emblems. This is at like five, ten, and twenty, I believe. But, as always, Ravali. Because Ravali is the boy. And I feel like that'd be a little too silly of a haircut. But we shall keep the Desert Vos Spaldron. Because Link rocks that shit! Be the that will always go good. 
and onwards to freeing Korok Forest. It does seem funny that, like, everybody has paragliders now. The king issued his first order to the Divine Beast pilots. Seek out the knight who could wield the sword that seals the darkness. This would require that they vanquish the monsters in Korok Forest, where the legendary blades slept. Which is extra funny, because I'm fairly certain there are, like, no monsters in Korok Forest. Just wild animals. Then again, this is more like at the height of the calamity, almost. So, I guess it could make sense that monsters could go in and get lost. Then again, there's also, like, the skeletons and, like, uh, the octoroks. But I think those were, like, part of the trials within Korok Forest. So who knows? It was a hundred years in the future. All four of the pilots were to take part. Zelda seeking data to help calibrate the Divine Beasts, accompanied them. As did Link, for he always stayed by the princess's side. This is extra funny. Like, I wonder, like, I wonder how offset the timeline is because according to the Champion's Ballad, all of the champions were recruited after Link had attained the Master Sword. And as far as I can remember, it's never really, like, at least from what I found in Breath of the Wild, there wasn't anything that explicitly said how or, like, what circumstances led to Link pulling the Master Sword out. So it's, like, very interesting. I can only guess that the Guardian from the future kickstarted everything, like, oh, we actually see definitive data that the Calamity is totally going to come. We need to uh, ramp things up so they go make sure they have champions. Especially as the, like, Yiga clan and the monsters seem hypercharged due to, like, the prophet guy who's worshipping the corrupted, guardi like, mini-guardian. Still don't know what that's about. Completely forgot it existed. And then, like, the mini-guardian corrupted one leading monsters in the Rito village. So it's just like, I really like it, and it just offsets everything. Bird. Hyrule's king chose us to perform this pivotal task. It will be my honor to excel, as always. Then there's <laughs> side eyes and link <laughs> the one part that doesn't add up Why should this nobody be trusted to lead us in the coming battle because he has to protect mm. Zelda It doesn't matter who's the leader. We're all in this together, right? You are of course mistaken. My divine beast is the key <laughs> Really now it makes no sense Get him, Egg. Well. <laughs> Attack him. My one comfort is that your reputation will be completely ruined once you fail. The Fallen Knight. <laughs> Ravali, how long do you expect us to put up with your prattle, huh? I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. And considering the tip we got... Now witness. Yeah, it's Vaughn Meadow time. Meadow's divine ah. power. I guess there's just like a, so many monsters around the Korok Forest, we need a divine beast for this. Destroy! Get out of here, monsters. All right, Vomito, let's show them what you're really made of. It can fly, eh? No matter. A target is a target. That outpost is downright convenient. 
Let's warm up, shall we? Alright, let's keep going and squash any stragglers. Why do they have so many, like... Oh, but there's no time to attack them individually. Let's take them out all at once. Oh wait, I think I can... Aha! I remembered. But man, they have just like a ton of Henoxes out here. Another flawless performance. I was destined to pilot the Divine Beast. Oh! Okay, Vaughn Meadow just has a ton of things. Now you're all bothering me with your arrows. Get out of here. Just wipe them all out. Yeah, but I was going to say things and I got distracted. So how, how do the monsters have so much, like, helium? That's another question. They just have so many monsters. Just on flying platforms. Make sure I'm scouting out any bases I miss. Aha. We broke up the encirclement. Let's keep on the momentum. As we, like, basically slightly destroy the forest <laughs> as we go. All the Koroks are just utterly terrified by all the noise. Then again, they were surrounded by monsters. Oh, apparently I missed one behind me. Only one outpost left. Let's take it down quickly and get to my triumphant return. Then again, come to think of it, maybe these balloons were just filled with malice. Malice is probably hefty enough to float a bunch of monsters. Yeah, I'm really impressed by Vometo having so many, like, alternate modes. But I guess technically they didn't really have, uh, like, uh, a melee it could do. Fantastic. That's the price for messing with me and Vometo. I hope that failed knight saw my display. He doesn't even have the sword that seals the darkness yet. And he's still so hopped up on comparing himself to Link. It's hilarious. From YouTube chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm beating this game too. What happened to Tears of the Kingdom? I decided that uh, to kind of give myself a buffer break between the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom play styles, I'd play Age of Calamity. Since it, like, kind of release order, Breath of the Wild and Age of Calamity, then Tears of the Kingdom. And also from YouTube chat, here's also the board results for the most votes from the Splatfest. For how many players joined the three teams in this grand festival, past votes 20 to 30 percent, present over 50, and future votes 10 to 20. Neat. All clear over here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting that like so many monsters are just he we're he surrounding the forest, and now we're running into the forest. The real, <laughs> the real, like joke is that the Yuga clan were able to maneuver any at all through there. That really seems impossible. Hello, Hestu. Teleporting around, which I 
don't this think you ever did in Breath of the Wild. Uh, are we even making progress? We could just be going in circles. Good point. If only someone could fly above and scout the way. As though I could see anything through this muck. Honestly, do you ever think before Those you speak? Those are very quiet maracas. Getting lost is the least of our worries. If something attacked us, we wouldn't see it coming. From YouTube chat, hi, how yes. are you? Doing good, we doing must good. We prepared for even the most unusual... The most unusual. Hmm? I do wonder what dictates how people see Korok spirits. And who are you? Oh, me? I am the one who brings song and dance to Korok Forest. Pesto! Pesto, spirited music musician. A Korok. That's a very big one. Mind guiding us through the fog, then? You're lost, too, aren't you? I to get home myself. You could probably sneak right by if you didn't have those noisy maracas. I mean, you were sneaking by them. Oh, never mind him. We have business in the forest. If you lead the way, we can handle the monsters for you. The Hylian guards just don't say anything. <laughs> like the light character animation there. But otherwise, today has been rather good. Went for a walk. Sadly got procrastinating and didn't do any writing or drawing today. First things first. Let's see. We'll have L Zelda follow Link. Rivali follow Zelda. And then Link follow Rivali. That way I can control any character and they should all follow each other. Okie dokie, I'll show you the way to Korok Forest! Speaking of Korok, hello. <laughs> Actually, you can pass through here! Super Illusion Realm. Such a strange place for a pathway. Without a guide, we'd never have seen it. The guitar in the background is super good. Monsters, help! Astu's in danger. Quickly, we have to help him. Obliterate the monsters. Get out of here, floating skull. Be gone. <laughs> oh, my arrows just knocked him out of the air. I figured they'd be flimsy enough to go down in one arrow. How dare you strike at me! Illegal style moblin. Be gone! Well now, you've got some amount of talent. Perhaps I'll inspire you to greater heights. You can also pass through here, but nowhere else. Watch your steps. <laughs> Ow. We're all burning alive. Looks well, like even worse for you. You're a tree spirit. At least not that many monster skulls appear in actual Breath of the Wild. Korok Forest is just ahead. This has been a breeze thanks to you all. Really? An ill wind stirs. Hopefully I'm imagining things. <laughs> no. Get obliterated. <laughs> Quick. 
With running ahead, Hestu. We are finishing off the stragglers. And is this where all the evils come in? Why does that ball have an eye? Oh, yeah. A Stalhinox. But of course. I wonder if my arrows would have an effect on you. Like shooting your eye. I'm gonna do some stuff now! Step time! Uh, no, you, you don't do that. Do not use your arm as a weapon against me, how dare! Oh, weak point smash. Get out of here. A lot easier compared to my first time fighting a Stalhenox in Breath of the Wild. Which I think was the Stalhenox from... Like, a uh, Hyrule Castle, actually. If we make it past here, I failed to read it because I'm a fool. Nyeh. Oh, Malice. How'd Malice get in here? I don't remember Malice being here. This is the entrance, but hey, who put all this weird mud here? Now we can't get through. It might be the work of the Yiga clan. Yeah, we did see them in a cutscene. Oh. Maybe if we look around, we'll figure out how to get rid of that stuff. And you wouldn't have a shovel? Oh, and it just opened up. Oh, oh, oh. oh this play, the map just opened the hell up. Okay, you go for a volley instead. And go capture that. I'll run down here, capture that as Link and go up. Chuck, I'm kind of scared. If it's best for the forest, I'll do my part. At least it seems electric. Like, uh, oh, and I can also have Hestu. Hestu, you can actually follow after Link. I can control Hestu now. But as I was gonna say, like, it doesn't seem like the electric keys can do the annoying thing of being, like, killed but still hurt you. Like they do. In the normal game. Feels like Hestu has a wider camera. Could be that he's just so big that he needs to be pulled out. Oh, then I guess I can have. Nope. Follow Hestu. Go, my minions! Carry me to victory! Just a lot of guys showed up. Be gone, skulls. Defend yourself so I can bomb you to death. I'll final flurry rush you instead. Get maraca idiot. Pulls out a bomb. We will dance you to death. <laughs> what a stunning performance. Literally, because it was Maracas. Oh, well, we might as well head down there. <laughs> That's an adorable way to save Ravali. Ah, 
behind skillies. Oh, there you are, big man. Yeah, charge at me. Yeah, you knock me down, skull. Wrong thing. I am a fool. Luckily, you're weak in the face of Ravali. Excuse me. Plague! The world is attacking me. Let's see. Make our way up to this strong foe, the Stalmoblin. I think that's the first time I ever got a flurry rush from dodging in the midair. Be gone. Okay, we'll send you up there. Princess, I'm on my way. Control link. Be gone, Wizrobe. Huh? Right up this way to the first actual point. Find a way to extinguish the malice. Hey, no burning down the forest. That's my job as Link. Although, come to think of it, I don't think I was that much of a pyromaniac in my playthrough. Now, bombs. I did a lot of bombs. Saved on weapon stuff. How dare. You dare set me on fire? Illegal. Five million years. What is that thing? Some kind of twisted illusion? Of Daruk to boot. It looks kind of like the mud we saw at the entrance. The ball has to is kind of slow. Help. Darn you, uh, Choo Choo. I still managed to break it. Even despite you choose. Oh, it didn't even drop me a chest. How dare. Some of the mud is gone. Let's keep going. Nah. You vermin. How dare you destroy my handiwork. Minions, protect the remaining hollows. The Stall Moblin and their allies have appeared. Take them all out as we head to the next one. Although I just noticed the kind of hilarity of splitting up Zelda from Link like I did. Ah, oh, well this is fortuitous. Ravali can take on his own clone. He didn't just steal my good looks, but also my unparalleled talents. The nerve of this guy. But he does lack my ability of destroying weak points like a boss. So I guess you do lack my skill. Alright, we'll have you go down there, face him. Go up there, hit that. And then head back down. Then again, this seems like to be the big, big one. So oh, no, there is an opening. I'm just a fool and didn't see that. Princess. Oh, there's a hideout. We must destroy the enemies there. 
You think you can hide? You cannot hide from Link. Give me your fortified pumpkins, you fools. The pumpkins are mine. Hello there, Electric Moblin. I shall annihilate you in one go. Oh, almost one go. Be gone. Bye. This place must be cleansed of all malice. <laughs> For some reason that made me imagine the idea of like a witch hunt era Legend of Zelda. Mm, you have the taint of the malice about you. You must be destroyed. They're a minion of Ganon. Burn them. Goodbye, Bacoblin stall boy. Oh, I keep thinking that would be the, <laughs> the map button. I was trying to do the two-hit combo move, but failed. There we go. Get out of here. Love how quickly he just annihilates groups. Ravali is the boy. Also find amusing because there's like a two-step process to destroying the stalls. So like, like a delayed reaction to them being destroyed on the health bar. Oh, still, uh, be gone. It's like it just fell down to fall asleep. Princess. How dare you poke me with a stick? How dare you yeah. stop electrifying me? Very illegal. Get out of here. Big arm keys. And no electricity for you either. Who will this be, Urbosa? Eh, I, I won the 50-50. It was either Mipha or Bosa. Haha, <laughs> 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 there we go. Be gone! <laughs> the more hollows we destroy, the more and more... The enemies start to throw more, well, enemies at us. That back there. While Rivali gets to go and destroy the Mipha enemy. Although the real question is, how did the monsters get through? Because the Yiga clan could at least be like a... Uh, 
ferried in and guided by the little prophet guy. Who seems to be, like, on the good side of the calamity, able to manipulate the malice in such ways. Well, then again, I guess if he's able to manipulate the malice, I guess he should be able to manipulate the monsters, too. No, no, no spitting on Ravali. He rejects your advances. Ah, oh, and it's in the water place, too. Fitting. Try me. Get flurry rushed, idiot. Take this. You're finished. Ow. Dang it, I missed my chance. Because I didn't dodge, I wasn't able to do my combo. Freeze in the air and be shot. Final malice has been taken away. To me. Yeah, to me. When she actually says uh, to the, uh, uh, well, I guess Link comes. For some reason, I thought it said uh, to the path. We'll keep them at bay. Hurry on, friends. Ah, oh, I guess. For being teleported there, it'll be like against Suga. Well, you weren't there a second ago. How oh, dare. Oh, summons all four. Seems illegal. If you weren't made of malice, he would have hit you very hard there. <laughs> he even has illusionarily made bomb arrows. <laughs> oh, it broke the sword. Go, Guardian. Zelda, use the slate. This is probably a lot more dramatic than the original timeline's way of Link pulling the Master Sword. What? You fucked up. You put all this <laughs> planning and power. You just brought <laughs> kind of a catalyst to the warrior. The night that shall seal the darkness. And I see this time he didn't have to sacrifice all his life to do it. Then again, what? why aren't you doing anything, uh, Deku Tree? Oh, he's kind of frowning. He's angry. What? And suddenly I have the, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Hylian shield. Da, 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 da. Love the music that's playing. Get out of here. I was too powerful and killed them all too quickly. Prophet of Doom, Aster. Hmm. 
I will end you myself. You nuisance. Very rude. Ow. <laughs> Your power is mine for the take. I was trying to dodge to the side, but I got a flurry rush out of it, so it works. Let me do this since you have all your hollow friends around you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I destroyed them all. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wonder what's going on, because he put himself in a bubble. Trying to defend himself while his hollows did the work. You fool. That'll never work. <laughs> Farewell. It's not farewell yet. You haven't even said hello. Unless you, unless you think. If you think, uh, kill her is a uh, hello. Sorry, Hollow Rivali. Now you have, you better not be healing in there. It'd be very illegal. Exactly. That sword it is too powerful. It seems Aster escaped. We wanted to murder him. Feed the Korok with his blood. We got a Bacoblin arm as a weapon. No idea why he'd want that, but sure. Do 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 do. Need a little bit more. I think that'll do. And we got a diamond. Ah, and more outfit stuff. Good. <laughs> and a hard-boiled egg. I guess kind of cheaper in a way if you just don't have all the ingredients for the other one. Here, you can just sacrifice three eggs. Yeah, what were you doing all that time? <sighs> Great Deku Tree. Uh... And all the mini Koroks have come out to play. All is well. The sword you hold is the key to defeating the calamity, to sealing the darkness. Young hero. You have been chosen by the sword to wield its power and vanquish the calamity. To save the day. And you, princess, <gasps> do not lose hope. The pass will open for you soon. I see. Forgive me. A deep slumber beckons, and even I cannot refuse. You only, like, just woke up. You have all that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. The destiny of, like, more than half of you dying. Is in your hands. I'd say a good two-thirds of you dying.
spirited musician. The musician of Korok Forest who loves to dance. He favors a set of maracas filled with Korok seeds. Some believe his dancing possesses mystical power. Yeah, is that going to unlock anything for... Like all of the... Korok seeds? And dear god, so many things have been unlocked. So many things. Ah, new things from Link. Ah, that's just me able to... Oh, these, these art pieces are good. I really, really like them. Look at the boy. Miss Pura Robbie. Very neat. From YouTube chat. So Team Past has won. Most of the fandom I've seen online is thinking that maybe the victory will decide on the next game title should be about going back to the past in Splatoon 4. I could see that mostly because it at the very least appears that the final grand Splatfest seems to affect the sequel. Because I think like the first Splatfest or the, the first game's grand Splatfest was which is better, uh, Callie or Marie, and I think that affected the story of 2. Then Splatoon 2's last Grand Fest was Chaos vs. Order, and that affected the aesthetics of Splatoon 3 at the very least, I believe. It, uh, and I don't know, it feels like uh, past, present, or future would be, like, a very big difference between the various options, but who knows? Of, like, what they could do with story stuff. But it would be neat if they kind of continued that as a tradition. Preparing for field work. An ancient relic was discovered at Thundra Plateau. Princess Zelda hopes to research the artifact. But to get there safely, she will need protection against the region's electrical hazards. Although one downside to going to the past is we might not be able to see all of the characters you've really come to love across the vi the three games of Splatoon. But at the same time, that could allow them to do something extra crazy. Kind of reset the board by going all the way back to the back. Alas, though Zelda made it safely to the artifact, her research bore no fruit. However, in a monster encounter during the journey, she did devise a way to enhance the Sheikah Slate. Now I have, uh, extra attacks. Nice. Beyond the Wall of Thunder, there's a Rito monster hunter who needs help. She wants to venture to a plateau with frequent lightning strikes, but it's not safe to approach without a boost to her electricity resistance. <laughs> with plenty of electricity resistant materials at her disposal, the Rito went back to the plateau to slay monsters. Rumor has it that she called their numbers quite a bit. Oh, yeah. The blade that pierces the eye. Or oh, let's see. Oh, what's this? Gain ability to de-rust weapons. Well, we do have one rusty weapon. From rusty to trusty, the blacksmith guild is searching for a way to restore rusty weapons in a jiffy. Does the secret lie with a monster that spits out weapons like new? Get parts from them to aid the research. You did well. After testing it on various materials, the Blacksmith Guild was happy to report they found a way to polish up weapons like Rock Octorox do. Now you can use them on rusty weapons. The Hylian Blacksmith Guild is capable of removing rust from weapons you find in battle. This can result in discovering powerful armaments. Yeah. It's not that expensive. Oh. I wonder if this affects anything. So you need five? Huh. Well, obviously, I guess we'll throw in one diamond. A ton of monster parts. Well, comparatively. We'll throw in a hefty amount of Moblin Guts. A few of you. There we go. 
and then a hundred. We'll throw up a Coblin trophies. I have no idea if the... Oh! Oh, Jesus! It's so good! Compared to, compared to what I have. Let's see. Blacksmithing guy. Do you have anything for... No, that's just fusion, so... Doesn't seem like you have anything super duper. Whoa! Drop rate. Kind <laughs> of clear up and get some stuff a go. Ba -da -da -da. And same thing, we'll wait until there's good stuff for you. Let's check you. Yeah, because you start really, really good, but then we also have the Master Sword. <laughs> Mid-air attack damage plus 13. That's kind of seems crazy. <laughs> Just speculation about this, so maybe Splatoon 4's storyline is either, a, one, a prequel title, or two, the story involves time travel. What do you think? I don't think that Splatoon... Well, I guess maybe. I just doubt that time travel would be... Like, I don't know. Time travel doesn't jump out to be to be like a Splatoon thing. Not to say that it couldn't happen. It just doesn't feel like that would be the direction Splatoon would go. But it's entirely possible. For me, I would think that it would be like a prequel, maybe showing like the adventures of like that captain guy. Maybe. The old Captain Squid that seems to show up in all the games. Because there seems to be, like, enough lore hanging about that... Like, there's just something to it. overall I don't know <laughs> let's see is there any because now it has like a octagon I guess I'll wait to get a another like percent damage per 100 because I think Stacking that on the Master Sword for massive long-term damage would be very good. Ooh, Ancient Power Boost. So I think trying to upgrade this is the way to go. But it'll be very interesting to see what they... what direction they go in for the next Splatoon <laughs> game. Because... It'll, like, at least hopefully they'll go for another Splatoon game, because Splatoon is a really cool IP, and definitely deserves, like, more. Even though I've never played it myself, it just seems very neat. Oh, weapon capacity up! That's actually in- I didn't expect that to be in this game. More rattle, more dance. Hestu is sad. His maracas lack the rattle for some good shalaka. Find something to give his maracas more of a rattle. Then he'll be able to dance more happily. <laughs> Adorable. Hestu was, over uh, eh. Hestu was overjoyed to hear that his maracas rattled better. So he showed you his happy dance. Shaki Shaka. Da, 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 da. Increase apple capacity by one. Hestu is going to host a Korok ballet performance soon. While they rehearse, find Hestu and the others find Hestu and the others what they need to really shake things up with this show. I wonder where ballet actually came from. What is the history of ballet in Hyrule? 
Hestu loved how the Korok show turned out. The ballet was adorable and the music was great, so he showed you his happy dance. Shaki Shaka! Increased apple capacity. The number of apples you can carry has increased. Pinwheel, no spin wheel. Yaha! A Korok is feeling blue because their favorite pinwheel broke. Now he does. Now it doesn't spin at all. They'd really appreciate it if someone made them a new one. I'm gonna make you one out of fish and beetles. I really like the voice they got for Hestu. It sounds familiar, but it's just, it really fits. Hestu banded together with his forest spirit siblings to make a new pinwheel. Happily spinning it round and round, the Korok laughed with glee and promised to give Hestu their support. And now Hestu will drag them into battle and war, so they can all witness the blood and slaughter. Oh! Impa bonus combo and shirt for Link. <laughs> Village training secrets. Generations of Kakariko villagers have passed down a secret training method that, when practiced correctly, is said to impart a new skill. Impa plans to give it a shot, but she'll need some supplies. New power, new hope. The time on a training technique involved chopping vegetables faster than the eye could perceive. Impa found that this did indeed teach her a new move, and hey, not a bad lunch. And stealth chest guard. A menacing Hinox has appeared near the Swordmaster's classroom, frightening the students. Defeat the creature to set their minds at ease. Luckily, I have Hinox trophies. <sighs> Upon Link's return, the Swordmaster praised him for beating the Hinox. This is proof of your growth. Keep up your training and your skill may someday rival my own. Ah, we're missing out on... <laughs> of course we're missing out on the rubies. For some reason, a Korok is bawling their eyes out. Hestu wants to turn that frown upside down with the magic of dance. But there's something he needs before he can get his groove on. A Korok seed and the evidence of death. Seeing Hestu shimmy and shake to the rhythm of the maracas, the Korok's tear-streaked face broke into a smile. As a thanks, the spirit offered to tag along with their big sibling. This implies that Korok have mouths. There is a Korok in the Lost Woods. He who's bored of the same old, same old, piqued their curiosity with something one could only find in the other world. We're going to send you to hell, little Korok. Taking their gl first glimpse of an otherworldly stone, the Korok got so excited, they snapped their branch. The extraordinary sight had given them a flash of inspiration for a new riddle. Let's see anything else out down here? Ah, pants as well. Your award, clothes. Hardly anyone has been visiting Kara Kara Bazaar lately. To breathe new life into the place, why not add a splash of color? The, that ought to attract the attention of passerby. And then once they realize that color comes from bugs and monster guts, they're gonna run away screaming. <laughs> not bad, huh? With all the colorful decorations, a big crowd gathered at Kara Kara Bazaar. It wasn't just travelers and merchants, but also artists, dancers, musicians. What a lively scene. Pants. Do, do, do. Uh, we don't we don't have Melduga just yet. Daruk plans to attempt a classic Goron test of courage, rolling down from a mountain and stopping just before he falls into lava. Help him boost his speed so he'll have plenty of momentum. To rock it over the lava and not die. I feel like more momentum means a greater chance of death. The next battle's on me. 
After a running start, Daruk rolled down from the precipice at a terrifying speed. Fortunately, he skidded to a stop with mere inches between him and the lava. Perhaps the skill will help in battle. From YouTube chat, Anyon, do you follow the news about gaming, such like new game tiles this year, such as Persona 3 Reload, Episode Aegis, or Sona PlayStation Astral Bot from Team Asobi? Eh, I don't really follow anything specifically, but a lot of news does, like, come my way through various means. Like I heard, like, during the death of Concord, that people were just eagerly awaiting for Astrobot to come out and do actually good. Which, I think I heard that Astrobot did well critically, but maybe not in terms of spectacular sales. But then again, this is the hell world of gaming now, where if you don't do like 10 million sales, you're considered a failure. Elsewise, when it comes to new games, eh, not really... I don't really pay attention to new, new games shouting about just because there are so many new games. You've got indie games, you have, like, exclusives to Xbox and Sony, you've got games being ported from Xbox and Sony to Steam. Then you have, like, just, just too many games. I mostly pay attention to Nintendo because they have the most things that I might want to get brand new. Elsewise, I kind of glance around like, oh, that's neat, add to my Steam wish list and basically forget. <laughs> Just, it's all over the place. And apparently the game really wants me to do this one, which is Hestu's training. We get to beat up <laughs> the Hylians again. Oh boy. Time for murder. Oh wait, uh, we have to read. Hestu used to diligently practice dancing at the forest, but he's growing tired of dancing alone. Suddenly, an appropriate training partner appears. Hestu goes, assaults the army for dance practice. And now we just have a tree spirit as part of our army. But yeah, overall, I don't, like, actively seek out news and stuff about games. I just follow certain things, like, uh, whatever YouTube channel uh, Yahtzee Croshaw's new show is on. Sometimes see things. Or elsewise, just people I follow on Twitter are like, Hey, here's a thing, and that's kind of how I learned about Deadlock being released from, like, NDA. <laughs> <laughs> we just have happy music for Annihilation. Ah. We're not going down that easily. You're the Hyrulean army. You are indeed going down that easily. How dare you stab the tree spirit? Rude. Be danced to death. Get smacked. Dance to death. Doom and bloom. Well, I killed somebody and got maracas. This is the realm of fun. This is the realm of doom. <laughs> Show me your moves! Get smacked, idiot. <laughs> it's no use, we give up! You died to maracas. You are a failure. Quit trying to cut down the spirit tree. What are you, a Ghibli movie villain? Oh, I got Flurry Rush. Get smacked. Hyper Speedway. Death.
But I guess to quickly continue commenting on, like, just the vague gaming news I hear from time to time. But basically, I think I stay up to date relatively well, despite not explicitly following that many news news kind of stuff. Like, I know Space Marine 2 came out and is really well regarded and seems like a very feature-complete game and, uh, like, uh, decently good with, like, not trying to choke the money out of you post-launch. And then again, like, the failure of Concord. <laughs> and the success of Robobot. Or not Robobot, but Astrobot. other things like again like a deadlock I need to play more deadlock because deadlock is very fun but online gaming anxiety comes to hurt me and what other things like gaming related that's happened big lately I guess the PlayStation 5 Pro Turbacle of it being like super expensive and you have to buy like a, an outside disk drive and buy separately a vertical stand when this like console I think was made kind of to be a vertical stand console and the stand was included with the base PS5. So I don't know, maybe they're expecting people to have bought the PlayStation 5 and then buy a PlayStation 5 Pro as well, which I just do not think is a thing. And we got the rupees for this. But what a... Then I can ramble more in a bit. Heartfelt thanks. After all of her help training Link and the other students, the Swordmaster is setting off on a journey to discover new lands. Give her supplies for the road ahead as thanks for her teachings. No idea why she'd need a topaz. Maybe get it turned into, like, some special magic headwear that'll help you with electricity. <sighs> the Swordmaster was deeply moved by Link's parting gifts. The two of them had one last sparring match to say goodbye. And then I guess that's him finding his Swordmaster way out there. <laughs> Echoing footsteps. Well, it's a Hinox, so we might want to do that because Hinox's rare. Ooh, daily drills. Zora. Today's assignment is joint training exercise of Zora, Zelda, uh, the Zora Forces. Spar with the soldiers that are heading your way. Let's see, who should do it? Maybe Link, so that he can beat up his girlfriend. Well, let's see, because we have new armor options that are nice. Like that. Which we could... Ah, oh, but we don't have the money. We need to get money so we can dye that. Get the full drip out. I'm mostly waiting for... To be able to finally get the entire... Rito set, so this can be true to my Breath of the Wild gameplay. And you know that I'm gonna beeline it to the Rito Village in Tears of the Kingdom so I can get my Rito drip super early. Unless there's, like, carryover, but I highly doubt there'd be carryover. Like, oh, you played Breath of the Wild, here's your entire inventory. Although that would be pretty hilarious. I doubt they'd let that happen, but it would be pretty hilarious. <laughs> I have, like, ten diamonds! I really like the Zora Domain music as well. Apologies for the wait. We are here to support you. You're not here to support me. Get out of here. Oh, I need to use that more. <laughs> I 
someone, please help. I say spawn more of them so I can destroy them even more. Oh, you... You motherfuckers have bows and arrows now trying to snipe some of my health to get rid of my sword beams? Illegal, I say! Get out of here! This is a very beefy outpost. How many Zora must die before it is mine? If only the Zora were like this strong against the calamity. Ah, uh, Mipha has come. Oh, and a Zora cap. Of course, you'd be the one to hit me. I want to get all the health bar people in one go. I got my health back. Uh -huh. Well, I guess having a captain and Mipha in one work. This. Sorry, Mipha. You must die. Your strength is astounding as ever, Link. I have no shame in losing. Of course, Mipha would be a graceful loser. <laughs> so graceful, she had to say it twice. From YouTube chat. Hi, hello, hello. For doing more Age of Calamity. Doing the side quest before continuing the story. And so, Neon, are you still going to finish the Let's Play Persona 3 Portable FIMC route? Indeed, I will. <laughs> it's just that I was, like, really, like, because a part of it was I was really, like, uh, in a bad headspace while playing it. And who knows, maybe that could have been affecting my enjoyment of it. And I got the urge to play Breath of the Wild. So I went, ah, I'm going to play Breath of the Wild, kind of clear my head. And I, well, it originally was just going to be alternating, like, ah, Breath of the Wild, and then do some Persona 3, Breath of the Wild. But then I just really, really gelled with Breath of the Wild. And then I got excited to play Age of Calamity again. It's like, we will get back to it soon. Well, not soon, but like, eventually, we will definitely get back to it. When exactly, I do not know, you but it, well, I forward. will do it eventually. It is something that I am you determined to do. In fact, I really should try the alternating games. One stream do this game, one stream that. Which I could implement. Could definitely implement, now that I'm in a better headspace usually. I definitely need to. But I need to double check to make sure if all of them are... All the already streamed parts are uploaded. My brain is evil and makes me forget. There's just so many games that I do want to play. Age of Calamity, Tears of the Kingdom, basically all the other 3D Legend of Zelda games. There's so many games, too many games. Cool down. Get smacked. Too easy. There's one. Cool down. Get flurried, idiot. Get another victory. Like, 
What other games are also on my list of I need to get to and play? Because there's... Trying to think. I do have a list. There's just so many games. So many good games out there. You stand a chance. Be still. Prepare to be annihilated, Hinox. With the ultimate <laughs> weak point breaking combo. Because there's also, like, a long, long time ago, I, I don't think I streamed it. I think I just uh, Let's Played Uncharted 1 and 2, which I guess it's been long enough that I could, like, restream Uncharted 1 and 2 and go into Uncharted 3. I don't think I have Uncharted 4. I might? Oh, and the Tales games. I need to stream Tales of Symphonia because that's a game that I, like, love but haven't played in forever. Let's see. Then there's most of the other, like, Tales games. Just in general. Like, uh, the latest one, Tales of Arise, Tales of Berseria, Zestaria, Vesperia, Tales of Graces F, and then, like, a few others that I definitely, like, have and, like, want to stream at some point. Oh, and then the Xenoblade games. I have all... Well, I, I used to have all of them, but then Xenoblade 3 came out, and I don't have that, but I can always get that at another point. But I have Xenoblade Chronicles... I have it on the Wii and the Switch. Because Brain is eternally in. Oh, yeah, I'll get around to that eventually. Waits five billion years. Then Xenoblade Chronicles X, which was on the Wii U. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Need to get to all of them. I'm like, what are the like series then there are like a few like classic games I wouldn't mind trying like maybe Second Sight and Metal Arms like uh, kind of older games from my childhood Watch and learn. Like, what are the ones Go ahead and try and obliterate you. Oh. There we go. Your dumb rock body is stopping me from destroying you. How oh dare. Get bombed, idiot. I should do that combo more. That seems to annihilate you. Get another Ta -da. Oh, and then a gate is open. Or even oh, no, Lionel. Oh no. Well, now I wonder what Persona games you're doing after you finish P Persona 3 Portable. Do you have uh, Persona 3 Fez or The Answer or Persona 4? I do have Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden on PlayStation. Uh, not PlayStation. On PC. Definitely not going to do uh, Fez. At least not, like, immediately because Persona 3 Fez is just essentially Persona 3, ag like, again. Because, uh, although technically like, the bigger, like, changes to Persona 3 Portable were the fact that it's, like, lacking in the 3D environments for the overworld, like the, like, the human world and the various places, like the school, the shopping places. And then it does have the epilogue, but 
Like, I don't know. Like, maybe way down the line. Give it a shot. Use that as my... I don't know. Because <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, is it a different enough version for me to really want to replay? But who knows? It could be. Could be, could be. Although I'd have to suffer not having any, uh, like, uh, control over my allies, I don't think. Because I think that was an addition purely from Persona 3 Portable. But yeah, definitely Persona 4 Golden on PC. And then Persona 5 Royale. Those are definitely ones that I'm going to do. Darn it. And like, what other game series? Because there's lots of so many. Like, maybe other Kirby games. Because I do believe I streamed my way through Star Allies and... Uh... Then Forgotten World, I do believe. Like, 90% certain. Cool down. We could always go back and play the older Kirby games. Return to Dreamland, Amazing Mirror, various, various ones. Maybe even the really, really old ones. Feathers indeed. Be still. I just completely missed all of that. I haven't used a lot of apples on this one. It is a lino. Be obliterated. Just trying to think. There's also like a Jura's Wrath. Oh, and the other like uh, Crash games. Crash. Because I think I did like the main part of Crash 1, but didn't do like the gyms or all the box breaking. So probably not all of the levels entirely. And then there's still Crash 2 and 3. And then I do have Crash 4, It's About Time. Then I just have, like, a ton of indie games. It's like, too many games. They're just on my list. of get to eventually. That's part of the reason why I wish I could be a su supreme professional streamer. The stereotypical just wake up, have breakfast stream. I could get through my game backlog at decent speeds. Oh, we get a kill a Melduga. Let's see, because this is wanting a level 27. A level 27. Ooh. Not even Link is like made for that. We'll bump it up slightly and use him to take it on. love the music. But there's also like a Mario games. I've never played Mario 64. I forget. I'm fairly certain I beat Luigi's Mansion, but it's been forever and I've just forgotten. There's also like a very like old and not really talked about RPG from the Nintendo 64 I think called Aiden's Chronicles. Ton of games. <laughs> I mean, the Persona games are hella long to finish playing to the end. That is also true. I think that was part of the reason why Persona 3 was a bit draining to play, like, back-to-back-to-back-to-back. To back to back to back because 
it's not really a story that comes at you. There's a lot of downtime. And you're meant to be, like, really invested in the, like, connections with the various, like, arcana relationships. you game that did so much damage for no reason. Freeze you so I can get more hits off because screw you. You bastard. So I think Persona definitely worked better for me if I did intersperse Persona with other games or other games with, with Persona. I have no idea what it wanted me to... It just went too fast. Oh, I also have, like, the other, like, Yakuza games. Darn it. Because I played Persona... Z or not Persona. I played uh, Yakuza 0 on my own time a long time ago. I think one issue for the Yakuza games as well is most of their charm is like uh, <laughs> doing the like all the side stuff. Could risk going into another. Like, persona. Get smacked, idiot. Half the time remains. That's roughly half health. Roughly. Yeah, there's just like so many just really good games. And only so much time in the world. Take this, Melduga. Like the other Mario games, the, the Mario RPG games, like Mario uh, RPG on the SNES, the Mario and Luigi RPGs, the Paper Mario RPGs, the various Sonic games, even. What other games out there? More Pokemon games I need to play. Like, uh, I've been planning my eventual Pokemon Black playthrough, I do believe. And then there's Pokemon Black 2, White 2, Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. And then I think that goes into Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, then Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet. Let's see, what other, like, oh, I need to also do the Pokemon Ranger games and then, like, Pokemon Conquest, which is kind of a Fire Emblem-esque tactics RPG with Pokemon, with your starter being an Eevee <laughs> from... Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? Together. My brain and my voice and my tongue do not agree together. But how are we doing today? Doing good, doing good. A little bit of procrastinating on, like, uh, drawing and writing, but that's just brain. Yeah, because the Zero is such a great game. It is. It is a very good game. I just kind of worry that 
if I tried to stream it, it wouldn't be as good for me, because I already kind of know everything, and I kind of did, like, 90% of the game the last time I played, so doing it all on stream again, brain would go, Nyeh. From YouTube chat, yeah, the latest Persona titles in the series, like 3, 4, and 5, made in the following story and gameplay. Because I do know that Persona, like, 1 and 2, and then, like, an expansion slash sequel to one of them. That which was basically like, ah, Persona 2, Sins of something. Follow more in the Shin Megami Tensei kind of gameplay. There's also the Metal Gear games I need to do. I did stream Metal Gear Solid 1, like, years ago. Absolute years ago. Kind of hated the final boss. And, uh... I played Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain on my own time. Because just like, oh, I, I really like it. Better. And there's just like so many games, so many games. The Last of Us I need to play. The Donkey Kong Country series. I think I streamed the first Donkey Kong Country again years and years ago. Or it could have been when I was like just doing off stream. Like back when my internet was shit and I didn't stream. Then there are ones that kind of interest me to revisit, like Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I have the Mega Man collection. I think I have multiple Mega Man collections. I need to do, like, the other Ace Attorney games, because the Apollo Justice collection dropped. The uh, Edgeworth Investigations dropped. I have the great Ace Attorney invest like, the great Ace Attorney, like, 3D games that are, like, set in the past. There's, like, so many games <laughs> from Twitch chat. Someday I'm gonna get through my backlog. That's what we all say. That's what everybody says. And again, that's why the back of my brain is just like, man, if only I was a professional streamer, then I could just blitz through my backlog, play games day after day. <laughs> to the Zora, Vo, and Vi. A Gerudo armorer, just back from the trip to Zora's domain, wants to make some armor for her new aquatic friends. Help out by getting some hydrodynamic materials from monsters who can swim. I don't think the Maldulga counts. I don't think it counts. From Twitch chat, every time a new sale comes up, it gets bigger. That's just how they get you, especially Steam sales. The Gerudo Armorer finished her design for the Vi and Vo of Zora's Domain, and it became an instant fashion craze, allowing wearers to look stylish while also swimming faster than a Lizalfos. Too bad I don't use Mipha all that much. Cross the Hebra Mountains. There's a damn Lionel in there. There's a light all in there! You fucker! You have a lot to look forward to. I will murder you with the power of you bird flies! Surprising. It also doesn't help that Brain also is just like, hey, let's also play multiplayer online games. As if I will ever get around to actually doing that. It's like, look at fighting games. Fighting games are fun. Has nobody to play fighting games with and going online just means getting your ass kicked by people who've been playing this game nonstop since it was released. And then there's like, oh, I could play League of Legends because I actually decently like League of Legends. And then you remember, oh yeah. <laughs> the players are indeed just as toxic as people say. You go on the Reddit and people are like, hey, any advice for a new player? Mute the chat. <laughs> it's just like eternally the go-to advice for any new player. Be still. Oh, that's rude. You're outside of the outpost. You should not be shooting me. Illegal. Get another. You will die now for your sins of shooting over. Be gone, Satan.
and also when it comes to like a uh, playing game series I do still plan on doing a Pokemon mystery dungeon like a thon since I played all of the like a uh, Pokemon mystery dungeon games earlier this year so I think that would be a neat thing to do since I now have like poor knowledge of all of them Watch oh I I was trying to go through it faster and then I failed. You stand a chance. Let's see. Oh. Well, I guess maybe there could be more Koroks up here. Let's venture through. It's just a Lionel we have to kill at the end of all this. It's nothing major, it's just a Lionel. Yeah, there's just so, 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 so many video games. There's also, like, Danganronpa, other Digimon games. Because I did stream Cyber Sleuth a ways back. Watch and learn. Let's see what I want. You stand a chance. Like I, like, I guess technically Warcraft 3 and the StarCraft games, maybe. It's been a long time since I played them. So that could be an interesting experience. Let's see, what are those? What that said, you're so cold. And then, like I said, other Legend of Zelda games Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. Lots and lots of games on my list. Uh, bomb. I don't think the other Lionel did that once. Now I'm remembering like a long, long time ago, like ages and ages ago, when younger me was more impulsive, but also had more will to do things than me. I had a series where I would just pick up a random game from, like, my Steam library and give, like, a first impressions gameplay video of that. Like, that's one thing that I would also like to do, like... Again, if I had, like, uh, more stream time. Because that is one thing that I kind of always debate. is like, uh, do I add more stream days? Do different stream things? But then would that lead me to burning out? And I just realized I've been failing to read the side quests. Because they don't have the things up there normally. How dare you, game? A journey across the snow-covered Hebra Mountains awaits. Scatter the ice monsters that are in the way and make haste across the snowy landscape. Let's see. Ah, it's over here. A Melduga was discovered in the Gerudo Desert. Prevail in this one-on-one -on -one battle. Really wants me to do this because it's fish out of water, gives rupees and stuff. But I don't think that we should probably try and bring other characters up to snuff. Let's 
see. Do you believe? Ah, uh, it's another question mark, question mark. And we can only play Link. Oh boy. Let's see. I place great faith in you. Show us what you're made of. Let's see. Who would rather have? I think Daru. Leave it to me. With the two of us, we can't lose. Oh neat. Another character like dialogue and stuff. But yep. Question mark, question mark. Oh, I forgot I was gonna manage Link's inventory. Let's see. Do we have any new weapons that are like we have a high resale one? But it doesn't appear to be like any extra damage per 100 KO ones. Sadness. As usual, our 7% experience cake souffle. Let us go into the danger. With the discovery of the knight who seals the darkness, hope spread among the people of Hyrule. Yet unease lingered in the princess's heart. No matter how much she devoted herself to training and research, doubts plagued her. To clear her mind, Princess Zelda joined the pilots on a mission to investigate some unusual relics. Alas, their expedition bore no fruit, and they set off on the road back to Hyrule Castle. Kind of nice of the pilots, the champions, to jo join with Zelda on just investigating random relics and artifacts. I now have the sword. The egg senses your depression. I, if I am unable to awaken my inner power, Uh, it's playing a song for her. It's like a walking music box. That song. Da, da. Now Zelda is the one getting memory flashbacks. Oh, nighty night. I remember you. Enemy ahead! <laughs> What is this enemy ahead? Monsters, lots of them. We'll handle all things here somehow. You and Impa, just look out for the princess. Hurry, we cannot hold out against this horde for long. I made my enemies along the way. Let's make our way to this outpost. The real question is how do they have time to set up outposts? It was like an impromptu relic finding. Very rude. I was in midair. Healed up, so things are good. Get out of the way, but goblins. Link is on a mission. Out of the way. Accidentally, I like knocked it off balance. Thought that I had it 
the ultimate chance to break things. Break its weak point. I don't even need my rune to destroy you. This way has more enemies, which means killing them will increase my KOs. And more KOs means more damage for me. There's a lot of the blue Bacoblins this time. Although it's kind of uh, worrisome that they're giving me 20 minutes to get through. That's quite worrisome. Big on. I mean, seriously, you'd think that, like, we'd have more scout information on finding all of these outposts just drenched in monsters. Oh, that's the wrong one. And still somehow it worked out for me. That was like the sun bearing down on me. Be gone, whiz robe. Just utterly tear through all the enemies. Flailing hit me? How dare! Flurry attack time! I'm really good at reading those attacks for flurry attack responses. And it continues to grow stronger. He almost makes it look easy. Ah, oh, yes, Impa. Understood. I miss, must have missed what Impa said. Our allies are fighting beyond this point as well. We must hurry and aid them. Like actual allies or just me? Although I do see there being a blue dot down there. Very rude. Link could just throw straight up dunk of a bomb on these guys. Excuse me, dear monsters. Thank you for bailing us out. We have a new lease on life. Everyone, don't squander it. Zolfos. And the rest of the other Hylian captain.
take you on. But no flailing, dear Marblin. It's very rude of you to hit me if you're flailing. So don't. Again, I don't think I ever paid attention to just how freaky the Wizrobe's smiles are. Practice in with whiz robes. How dare you kick me? Highly illegal. Take this. Goodbye. Thanks for your help. We will join Princess Zelda's escort from here on out. <laughs> Soldiers, follow Link's lead. You just said that you were going to reconvene with Zelda. Herald Castle's almost within reach. We must break through the remaining outposts. I guess I got hit on the eye uh, of the water, so it did more ice power damage. Hold on with a uh, different, like, mini animation. Oh, and I can do this since you're all gathered up. Like this. What jam? Yeah, if this is close to Hyrule Castle, oops, of course you jerks decide to show up. It can't be! Well, apparently it is. They're so determined, they're throwing the hollows at us again. I wonder if they can only make one of each champion. Why not just make an army of these things and throw them at me? Goodbye, Hollow Ravali. Take this! Could just be that I have the sword that seals the darkness, so it's kind of cheating, but they feel very weak compared to the actual ones. And again, I haven't commented on it here, but this music is really, really good. Always adore the music in this game. It's It definitely feels like they heard the, all the criticism of like, oh, Breath of the Wild has no music. And they're like, fine, you want music? We'll give you music. And they just gave all this bombastic goodness. And I do appreciate it. Because it is very good music. Again, I, like every single time I see the mini taluses, it is the most mini taluses I've ever seen. Like I swear, I did not see that many in Breath of the Wild at all. Apparently, all the mini taluses heard that there was action coming, and they all came a rolling. Do my goddamn combo, you assholes. Die. 
enough stunning me. Get flurry rushed for your insolence. Get smacked. And blasted. Shrooms from that guy. For some reason, it definitely feels like the Lizalfos like uh, projectiles are the harder ones to dodge compared to arrows. Run into this. I think it almost got you. Special attack time. Get out of here. And clear out all these level this alphos. This outpost is now mine. Ah, two stone taluses. Does nobody ever look into these things? I'm summoning. Ow, I got smacked. Oh, sorry about that. And I shall activate this. Break him. I that took care of one of them. Touching me. That's all you're doing. I keep forgetting that you can actually do that. You are just so much more agile than you are in the actual game. Or like Breath of the Wild. Considering that these are all like derived from Breath of the Wild, my brain just defaults to like, ah, eh, that's the main game. I only wish that I, well, regardless, you should all be I just, I didn't read it fast enough, I'm a fool. But of course I cannot carry enough. But I can resell. The power of resell. Make a lot of money. Selling. And we got another topaz. Made it back. Oh, honey candy. Rupees plus 20%. That'll be nice. Nice to do if I need to grind rupees. Of which I think I will have to do. <laughs> Nick. He's become so much stronger. I think he's been pretty and strong this entire I time. Have not. I presume that's what you're thinking? Hmm? In a way, it's kind of nice Nine how the timeline went. Monsters have been appearing lately. Allowing Zelda to confide in more people than in canon. Well, I guess like the original timeline. There isn't much time. And still, no sign of my power awakening. <sighs> Little bird. Perhaps you are missing the point, comparing your progress to Link's. He... Oh, it's the same boy he was before acquiring that sword. He will rise to... <laughs> Literally eating rocks. ...any challenge. 
rage with no hesitation. That's all there is to it. In that regard, you two are one and the same. Look how hard you've worked to get this far. Or both is really the mother Zelda didn't get to have during this what did the great this, this time. Say? There's no need to fret, princess. I know that you are where you need to be. You must accept that too. Thank you, Agosa. The pilots of the Divine Beasts, and the knight with the key to defeating Calamity Ganon. In a grand ceremony, these five heroes convened, and King Rome bestowed upon each the title of champion. Ooh, are we gonna get, like, a... Uh, the champion... Like, stuff like Urbosa's skirt, and, like, I think the sashes for Daruken. Mifa and the, the shirt for Link. The people gave cheer, the ceremony drew to an end, and the champions enjoyed a moment of rest. Oh, well, it's kind of like the champion's ballad cutscene to a degree. We did it. We have all the pieces on the board to stop the calamity. Like you hit the bad button, and you're just like, oh, except for me, I suck. The knight who seals the darkness, the four champions, and you, of course. I'm positive. We can turn back the... Uh. What is it, Egg? What do you sense? Would you stop making a nuisance of yourself? Unlike you, the princess is extremely busy. <laughs> Slapped her hand. Oh, you cut it out. Oh. <laughs> now listen, you... Oh. Stop, Stop pointing! That. You cannot win this fight. We're trying to help the princess here. Come on, you two. There's no need to fight. Oh. How dare you <laughs> act so disrespectfully in front of her highness! You troublesome teapot! Uh, so, Daruk, about what we discussed... Ah, <gasps> training? So you're ready to begin your Yay. training? <laughs> Let's get to it! Thank you. I hope to become stronger. So that I can fight mm -hmm. alongside oh, <laughs> the <no>. boy. <laughs> you attracted his attention. Enough. Leave me out of this. If you must fight, do it elsewhere. Come back here, you whiny little. <laughs> oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> How asinine. I like little cutscenes like that. Just focusing on the characters. It's just nice. Ooh. And lots more unlocks. Lots more unlocks. Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> Weapon capacity plus two. That would be pretty nice. And another protector of the forest. Which will funnily enough give us enough to do that. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we can just do this off rip. The finest tailor in the land. The tailor employed by the royal family of Hyrule says that he'd like to flex his garment-making muscles by creating clothes fit for battle. Bring him some sturdy materials to work with. Reduced enemy damage? Yes. Do now. Very good. Good work. And this one is bonus experience, which I believe is Henok material. Boop. And some Ravali. Ooh, special attack gaze plus one. The Hyrulean army and the Rito are jointly organizing a glide training course spanning the length of Tanagar Canyon. To get the paraglider that far, they will need courage and fire for an updraft. 
I won't stop aiming higher. With Rivali's group taking the lead, all soldiers completed the glide training. Even the reserved Rito leader had a smile on his face. Perhaps he enjoyed sharing the thrill of soaring with others. And then a bonus combo. In Rito Village, there is talk of hosting a gliding tournament to test competitors' speed and precision. Rivali is itching to compete, but the organizers need help getting the new event off the ground. This will do. The organizers had everything they needed to make the gliding tournament a reality. Throughout Rito Village, competitors train for the big day. Even Rivali refined his airborne skills. Ah, and further just normal enemy annihilation combo. Whoop, and Hebra. We won the day. You got a token of gratitude from the people of Hebra. Oh, we can do this. Improved heart recovery. Chilly path to a hot bath. You come across a man trying to build a road to the secret springs that dot the Hebra Mountains. He says work's been slow going because of the cold. If only had something to warm up. Oh. With the road to the secret hot springs completed, all of the springs are crowded day in and day out with visitors. The memory of all those happy smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. We can do another one-handed weapon enhanced ability. I wonder what that even means. A hawk arrived with a letter for Link written by the far-flung swordmaster. It reads, only by defeating this beast can you become a master of the blade. Enclosed is a picture of a lino. And it takes all my lino trophies. <laughs> Link entrusted the hawk with proof of the lino's defeat, along with a small present. The bird squawked in thanks, took wing, and headed back to its master, wherever she may be. Perform a strong attack, and the extra attack that follows will be enhanced. Nice. Ooh. Also really wants me to do that. Which is for pants. But I guess we'll finish off by doing the Protector of the Forest, Va Meadow. Oh, I guess I should read. A horde of monsters has appeared in the Great Hyrule Forest. Rivali sets out to engage them using the power of Divine Beast Va Meadow. I just realized we haven't piloted Von Naboris yet. That must come later. Especially funny because I think we've piloted all the other divine beasts twice now. I see. Two thousand enemies. I can hardly hear the music playing over the blasting of my lasers. Imagine if Vomedo was like this when Link tried to get it in the main timeline. That's a whole core of whiz robes. Snipe the Hinoxes to death. I may mean right at you. Why aren't you dying? How dare. How do they even have, like, platforms for a Hinox? Then again, these Hinox seem very big. If I had to fight these hen oxes, 
It would be a nightmare. For some reason, that now made me think what it'd be like if uh, the Yiga clan tried to make their own Divine Beasts. Which I guess they technically wouldn't have to because the Divine Beasts were under control of Calamity Ganon, but still. The idea of, like, evil Divine Beasts squarely in the Calamity's power. Rather than just, like, kind of slightly controlling. Would be utterly horrifying. So I'm on the mountainside. I kind of like that I can destroy beyond the bounds a bit. Half the time limit remains, and I have over half the enemies defeated. So I need not worry. I do that to flex upon my enemies. Just the forest of the entire forest. Almost there. Make it rain, Varmeadow. Could have sworn that I just destroyed all of them. And yet one base survived. How dare. Imagine if the enemies were, like, actually to scale with their main models. I guess Va Meadow was too destructive and destroyed all of the Henoxes totally. We don't get any materials from them. It would make it a bit too easy to get Lionel materials and stuff if you could just do the Divine Beast missions and grind them. Guess I'll add that to my sensor. I guess I'll add that to my sensor. And we'll... I'll do some grinding off screen, doing some more resource gathering for the next time we play. <laughs> Ravioli gonna make some sauce. <laughs> From Twitch chat. He really likes patrolling that forest. I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for almost three hours. We did a decent amount of things. And I just really, really like the game. The game is so good. Such good music. The gameplay is nice. It's just very fun. And again, I really appreciate that, like, there aren't that many other menus. Like, Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U and then ported to Switch as the Definitive Edition was good. But there's just something about this game and how it's telling the story, how all of the upgrades are kind of presented as in-universe events, and how, like, all of the things you do and upgrade are things that just appear on the map. It's just, it's so good and fits Breath of the Wild so well. It was fun hanging out, and thank you very much for hanging out with me. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I'm pondering maybe adding in a fourth day at some point. Maybe. Who knows? Might try that out every once in a while, see if that doesn't burn, if that burns me out too much or not. And then if you want other things from me, my link tree has links to everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash Neon Ice Wings or Delect... Direct links, direct links in my various like descriptions, bios, and link places of the sites. In there, you can find links to my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. I am still working on scripts for various videos. Hope to make them a reality eventually. Then links to the streaming Twitch Neon Icy Games or stream. Oh no, that the streaming Twitch is Neon Icy Wings. The streaming YouTube is Neon Icy Games. Brain is fried. Yeah. With all these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality. 
And then other things I do is upload art, like my little character in the corner or my insulates to various social medias and art sites. And also upload writing of mine to various writing sites, because writing is fun. And the final link in my link tree is my Patreon, basically a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for spending some time with me tonight, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind, stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.